Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous session, we discussed how to use the clip, union, and nearest analysis in the WPS in Joe server. In this session, we will learn how to use the crop coverage, contour, and raster zonal statistic analysis in the WPS in Joe server in detail. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Crop coverage. Raster cropping in geospatial information systems or GIS is a process that involves selecting a specific area from a raster dataset to create a new raster containing only the data from that area. This function is crucial for focusing on a particular region of interest, enhancing processing efficiency, and reducing data volume. In GeoSever, the Rascal and Crop Coverage function is a feature of the Web Processing Service or WPS extension that enables users to extract a portion of a raster image based on a defined geometry. This functionality is particularly useful for users working with specific areas of raster datasets, such as aerial imagery or satellite data, and is widely used in various GIS applications. Before implementing this process, first download and publish the US underlined dem layer from the description section. Then navigate to the demos page and select the WPS Request Builder link. Select RAS Column Crop Coverage from the Choose Process drop down menu. The inputs to the Rascal and Crop Coverage function typically consist of two components, Coverage and Crop Shape. Coverage. This input refers to the raster dataset that you wish to crop. You can specify it by referencing the raster data in a format such as GeoTIFF. For this function, select WPS colon US underline them as the raster layer for the coverage input. Crop shape. This input is a vector geometry that defines the area to be cropped. It's typically provided in a format such as WKT, which describes the shape to be used for the cropping operation. In this example, the application slash WKT format is used for the text input. The resulting output is a crop raster image written in several formats including image slash TIFF, PNG, JPEG, and application slash art grid. It will contain only the portion of the raster defined by the crop shape geometry. Select the image slash TIFF format from the generate section. Then press the execute process in new page button. Once the process is complete, you can view the result in the QGIS or ArcGIS software. Contour. The contour function in GIS is an essential tool for visualizing and analyzing elevation data typically derived from raster datasets like digital elevation models or DEMS. This function is crucial for a variety of applications enhancing our understanding from train features and supporting decision making in areas such as topographic mapping, environmental studies, hydrological engineering, and land use planning. In show server, the primary purpose of the rascal and control function is to produce ISO lines, which are lines that connect points of equal value within a raster dataset. These ISO lines effectively visualize changes in elevation or other continuous variables, making it easier to analyze topographic features and facilitate project planning. The function also supports dynamic counter generation and smoothing techniques, which contribute to creating visually appealing and informative maps. Before using the counter function in GeoSever, start by publishing the results of the crop coverage function.
Then to apply the rascal and counter function, select it from the choose process drop down menu. The input parameters for this function are data, band, levels, interval, simplify, smooth, and ROI. Let's describe each of them in detail. Data. This is the input raster dataset from which the counters will be derived. The raster must have continuous data such as elevation values. Here we select the WPS column crop raster layer. Band. This parameter represents a specific band of data within a multi-band raster dataset. This dataset, such as satellite imagery or DMs, can contain multiple bands, each providing different information. Levels. This input defines the specific counter elevations or values at which control lines will be generated from the raster dataset. Enter 2000 in the text box section. Next, select the application slash zip format from the process output section and press the execute process in new page button. After execution, you can view the results in the QJS or ActJS software. You will see that all the counter lines have values of 2000. Return to the Joe server software to explain the other parameters. Interval. This parameter allows users to set the spacing between generated counter lines. For instance, a 250 meter interval produces lines at elevations such as 0, 250, 500, and so on. However, if the levels parameter is used, the intervals parameter will be ignored. This provides flexibility for users to define specific counter levels or set an interval based on their needs. Enter 250 in the text box section. Simplify. The simplify parameter determines whether to apply geometric simplification to the generated control lines. When set to true, this Boolean parameter reduces the complexity of the control line geometries by removing unnecessary vertex that don't significantly affect the overall shape of the contours. Smooth. The smooth parameter indicates whether to apply a smoothing algorithm to the generated control lines. When set to true, it helps reduce jagged dates in the contour geometries, resulting in smoother and more visually appealing lines. Enter true in the text box section. ROI The region of interest or ROI parameter defines the geometric shape that specifies the area within a raster dataset from which contour lines are generated. This allows users to focus on the counter analysis on a specific subset of raster, improving efficiency by processing only the relevant portion of the data. Select the application slash zip format from the process output section. Then press the execute process in new page button. Once the process is complete, you can view the results in the QJS or ActJS software. As you can see, the counter interval is 250 meters. The roughness of the aids is also reduced, resulting in a smoother shape. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Zonal Statistics The Zonal Statistics function in JS is a powerful tool for computing various statistics based on raster dataset within specified zones. 
These zones can be created using Vaser data, enabling comprehensive spatial analysis for a variety of applications including resource management, agriculture, and urban planning. In each server, the Rascal and Raster Zonal Statistic function efficiently computes these statistics, providing critical insights into the distribution of raster data within specific areas. This functionality improves data analysis and supports informed decision making in special information management, resulting in better outcomes across different regions. Before using the Zonal Statistics function in Joe server, it's essential to prepare a classification file. To do this, follow these steps in QGIS. Open QGIS and load the crop raster layer into the workspace. Navigate to the raster menu and select the raster calculator option. In the raster calculator, create an expression to classify the raster values. For this example, we want to classify values greater than 2000 as 1 and values less than or equal to 2000 as 0. Replace the crop at some wall with the actual name of your raster layer. Specify the name and destination for the resulting classified raster file. For this example, save the file as classification.tif. Finally, click OK to execute the calculation and create the classified raster. This process will generate the binary raster file that can be used as input for the zonal statistics function in Joe server. First, publish the classification.tif file, then to apply the rascal and raster zonal statistics function, select it from the choose process drop-down menu. The input parameters for this function include data, band, zones, and classification. Let's describe each parameter. Data. This parameter allows users to specify the raster layer to compute zonal statistics. For this function, you can use four types of input. Text, reference, subprocess, and raster layer. The raster layer is the default option. Select WPS column crop layer as the input parameter. Band. This input refers to the specific layer or band of data within a multi-band raster dataset that the raster zonal statistics function will analyze. Zones. This parameter specifies the region for which statistical calculations should be performed based on different geographic boundaries. For this example, select the text mode and the application slash JSON line type. Then copy the contents of the zones.json file into the text box section. Please download the zones.json file from the description of this video. Classification The classification parameter categorizes input raster data for zonal statistics, allowing analysis of specific pixel value groups. This enhances insights and interoperability for targeted categories such as land cover or elevation. For this input parameter, select the WPS column classification layer. Select the application slash JSON format from the process output section. Then press the execute process in new page button. The result includes the computed statistics for each zone, which can be used for further analysis or visualization. Here are the key statistics computed for each defined zone. Classification. It's used to categorize raster values into defined classes. Count. The number of raster cells that fall within the zone. Max, mean, and AVG. The maximum, minimum, and average values of the value raster within each specified zone. Sum. The sum of all raster cell values within the zone. STDDEL. 
a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion of the raster cell values within the zone. These statistics help in analyzing the spatial distribution and variability of raster data within specific zones, which can be useful for various applications such as environmental monitoring, land use analysis, and resource management. In this session, we discuss how to use the crop coverage, contour, and raster zonal statistics analysis in the WPS Request Builder. To learn more about how to use the CLIP, Union, and Nearest Analysis in Joe's server, we recommend watching the suggested videos. Have a great time!